Hi everybody, hello, hello. Let me know if you can hear me okay. Do say hi in the chat um, while we're kind of waiting for everybody to flood in. Um, yes, lovely to see you all. Um, I hope you've been doing well since our launch last week. Um, very excited to say that we have not one, but two great workshops today. So in a moment, I will invite Dimitri to join us and he will be giving a workshop. But we also have Accurast's workshop coming up, which will be happening half an hour after the end of this one. So it's a great opportunity to sit, have a snack um, and yes, come back and join us for the second one. Um, I can see Armando is asking if it's going to be recorded. Yes, this will be recorded and it will be uploaded, um, but I really recommend hanging around because if there's time, um, Dimitri will get on to answering all of your questions. Um, before we start, I also wanted to encourage everybody to please book a call with me at some point in the coming days. So I will drop a link for that in the chat right now. I'll be very disappointed if my inbox is not full of booked appointments. Even if you haven't started building or even if you have, um, it's a great way just to catch up, see where you're getting on in the hack and answer any questions that you might have. Um, so without further ado, um, let's get started. I will invite um, Dimitri to the stage um, so that we can hear what he has to say. There we go. Hey. Hello. Lovely to see you again. Um, yeah, I'll let you get on with it. Just go ahead. Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for having me today here. We are as a get block, and I'm personally really glad to uh, work with Encode together. <laughs> Not the first time, but yeah. Um, thank you so much. And um, if we are ready, I guess I can start our um, small but i hope very useful um workshop yeah um again hi everyone thank you for having me today i'm dmitry uh the senior technical uh product manager at getblock i'm here for two and a half year and <laughs> know some stuff about the web free nodes uh, rpc providers and others other stuff so let's talk uh, a little bit about GetBlock. What is GetBlock? Why do we need uh, RPC nodes? And what is the RPC nodes? Is hopefully by the end of the session you will not only understand what is the RPC nodes, but also grasp why they are crucial is shaping the future of Web3. So uh, yeah. So what is the um, uh, RPC nodes in general? So uh, RPC node is a uh, blockchain node with the availability, availability to receive remote procedure calls, requests, and respond to them. So what is important and what, why, why do you need this stuff? When uh, the app needs any important information from a blockchain or wants to relay a new transaction, so you use RPC node. So uh, RPC node that receives the request and returns the desired information. Uh, imagine you are using a centralized uh, exchanger to uh, swap Ethereum to D or something else. When you make the request, it needs to check if you have enough Ethereum tokens in your wallet. Um, to do this, it uses an RPC node to give a real-time update if you, everything looks good. And then you confirm the transaction and the application again asks the RPC node to send your request uh, to the blockchain network to uh, verification and uh, execution. Uh, and when everybody is happy, <laughs> your transaction uh, goes to the blockchain, but um, it means keeping up the good work so that this is connection works uh, every time and users are always happy. 
In other words, it means the application credibility and users' experience are dependent on consistency and reliable access to the blockchain. And we have this access via RPC nodes. So uh, let's move further and uh, um, see why you are not able to uh, run your own node. I mean, like you are able, I think you're all, everybody, uh, great specialist and you know your stuff, but it could be a bit tricky and uh, maybe a little bit more expensive and as you think right now. So um, time for reality. Uh, managing RPC nodes is quite uh, tough stuff. It's not like a walk in the park. It can take months to sing, uh, synchronize an Ethereum archive node, like full data, full blockchain, full information. It could take from three months to half a year just to run it on your machine and waiting to get all this data and all also, it's going to take about 30 terabytes of data on your um, drive. So it could be a bit a lot. Also, uh, think about ongoing updates, security checks, and uh, consistent, like, maintain. You always need to do stuff with notes. It can't, it can't work just smoothly without your involvement. So things uh, get even thicker. When there is a high volume of network traffic, your workload also um, have impact for the node, and it could get um, uh, it could be a block deviation because of the high workload, or it could just stop because it has no more uh, has no enough resources to work smoothly. So these uh, questions are. Uh, <laughs> It'd be tricky to control and monitor it by yourself when you're mainly focused on your uh, application and your development and you want to build a good, good uh, product and meanwhile you need to control and monitor your node and making it working well. So it sounds like a waste of time for me. Anyway, <laughs> um, so what are the RPC providers do? Uh, external node providers appear as uh, individual partners. Uh, these providers, uh, like we are managing and optimize RPC nodes uh, for users and teams and big companies for anyone. So if you need nodes, so you can come to us. Uh, so we provide 24% support. We do a house check, we monitor all the nodes, we update it. So all the stuff which I uh, mentioned before, we do every day and that's our main goal. That's why we are exist on this market. So the idea is simple. We got the tech stuff covered. You focus on your genius business moves, your projects, everything you're going to show this world in <laughs> like, after you done it. So, um a bit small introduction about GetBlock and who we are let's now see what is uh, rpc providers actually do like how we can uh help you uh so GetBlock is a current age uh, rpc node provider node service that connects the apps uh, to over 55 blockchains uh via api endpoints it means the apps teams don't have to run their own nodes. Instead, uh, instead we create and maintain uh, RPC nodes and connect the apps to, to them via various interfaces like, uh, as you can see, JSON RPC, GraphQL, and WebSockets, JSON RPC. Also, um, it could be REST and uh, any other which you need, we can provide you just you need to ask us and yeah. So um, how to choose node provider? What is the main things you need to know and how it's working? Uh, let's start with the end of this <laughs> picture. So uh, reliability. Um, node providers uh, have the infrastructure and expertise to deliver um, 
consistently reliable service, minimizing the impact of potential issues on the user's experience. I mean, like you pay for reliability, you pay for um, numbers, you need to have your node available for 99.9% .9 of all the time you're using it. So we have to provide it to you unless we're gonna uh, refund you some money to, because we didn't follow our uh, SLA. So um, scalability. Mm. We are trying to provide you a scalable solution. You coming here as a young developer or very small team, and you need like 10 requests per, per hour, for instance. Then you are growing, you're building your the app, you're um, adding another blockchains, and you understand like, wow, well, I need uh, 10 requests per second, and then 100, and then 1,000. And it's going to be on all the blockchains you have on your um, the app. And that's here we can help you because otherwise you need to run all these nodes on your side and maintain. And that's uh, which could be a bit tricky and uh, waste of time and money. And security. Of course, security is also a big thing. You know, all these stories about scam in the community. You know, all the stories like somebody uh, make a fake transaction or um, smart contract and etc. And we are trying to uh, protect you. We are uh, we banned methods uh, which could be found on our nodes. We uh, right now we are implementing um, two uh, uh, layer. Uh, checks which uh, monitor the uh, fraud and scam addresses in the blockchain and uh, uh, you can this take this uh, api on on your node and get this information and understand which address addresses are bad <laughs> for your uh, development and which are good and green you can go with it so um a little bit about structure. What do we have in our service? We have like three main products. The first one is shared nodes. Uh, you can get access to this uh, product just right now. Just need to log in in our uh, personal account and get your thirty thousand requests for all uh, fifty plus blockchains we have on our platform for free per day. So you have. 40,000 requests per day for free for every 50 blockchains you have, or we have on our platform. Dedicated node, that's the thing for uh, teams and uh, companies who is going to uh, increase their um, workload on their uh, the app and uh, you need big numbers like thousands of the requests. Then you need to uh, have a dedicated node with your own parameters, with your own monitoring system, with your own account manager and stuff. And enterprise solution where you need a lot of workload, you need to have a uh, load balancing, you need um, specific uh, blockchains, you need um, specific uh, parameters for your nodes. So anything you can imagine as an um, enterprise solution. And uh, right now, if you have any question, please let me know in the chat. Otherwise, I can uh, go to the our workshop very <laughs> fast. And uh, I hope <laughs> interesting workshop. <laughs> that was brilliant. Thank you so, so much. Um, we do have a few questions coming in in the questions tab, um, quite a few. So one thing I'm noticing is that a couple of people have asked kind of what GetBlock's relationship is to Polkadot in terms of providing services. So um, perhaps you could clarify that for people. Yeah, um, like generally we are friends and we are like partners and we provide you some um, for I'm not sure about this uh, event, but for previous one, we've been your like kind of tech sponsor and we provide access to the Polkadot on our service for free for all users for like a public solution. 
and uh, right now we're just partners and uh, trying to build something together and help community to develop stuff yeah brilliant um okay we have two questions from moses so the first one is are there any constraints on the dApps that somebody can build mm. Yes, <laughs> for sure, <laughs> for sure it is. Um, um, Quite a big question see. there. That's that's question could take some time to. <laughs> um, Perhaps maybe if you could answer what kind of things you could or would like to see people using the bounty to build. Let's say the main uh, constraint constraints is. Uh, your uh, finance that's the first thing uh if you have no you will have to be like limited in the um these 50 uh blockchains we offer you on our platform and 40,000 requests for free for day per day if you need more you need to uh, pay uh, pay for packages or buy your own dedicated note or something so uh, Mainly, I think that's the only limit here. Uh, but I know companies, uh, our big partners, we are working with for years, and they are still buying and buying more and more uh, stuff, and they have no limits in this field. So um, it's difficult to say how you can uh, have any constraints on the, the app. But yeah. <laughs> um he has moses has asked another question is solidity yeah. the only language to use solidity no i i i'm not uh deaf but uh i think guys using uh go and um js and anything you can imagine in this field because uh, solidity yes it should be work short working with uh, uh, smart contracts but except the smart contracts there are a lot of stuff uh, other stuff which uh, could be done so i would say also there is no limits <laughs> um wonderful another question here um this time from ralph i'm sorry if i'm mispronouncing your name there um are you going to support aleph zero um blockchain testnet i would love to combine gap block with acura we um have as far as i remember zero but uh right now we are um, we are exploring the demand of this and uh, Every node is expenses for us, of course, and with uh, no demand, we have no sense to run it. Uh, right now, I see uh, a lot of requests for this, and I think next month we're gonna run several new nodes on our shared plan. Great. Um, let me just see because I think there were a few more questions. Um, yes, one more from Meharab. If I develop a Polkadot um, parachain node using Substrate, can um, GetBlock host and maintain my node? Yes, we maintain main, mainnet and testnet also. So yes, there is no problem. You can come and get an um, endpoint and run it just right now. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, does anybody else have any questions for Dimitri here? Um, let's, it would be... I, I, I would say let's go with the um, uh, workshop and then <laughs> I think yes. we're going to have yes, more sure. questions right now. It's, uh, right. Yeah. OK, so um, let's start with a link to the workshop we i will uh, send it to the chat and then uh, you can have it whenever you want and try it on your by yourself so um i think the first step are pretty uh, common you just need to make a git clone of the then uh, go to the uh, i already did a git clone <laughs> just showing you that it's uh, fine uh, 
go to the workshop and then uh, you need to run it uh, locally uh, polka dots yeah yep and permission then because it's already ran uh, then let's go to the yeah, local host well and here you see a small application which you can run on your site and uh, get some information from the blockchain yeah so how to work with it you need to go to the um, get block and um, go to the dashboard and log in in your account then you need to create your uh, personal access token i will make a new one just to show you how it's going here we can write the polka dot choose the mainnet then json rpc and get the access token here we got the access token we just need to copy this and put it in the address link then uh let's update it just one more time and push all the buttons and get all the information from the blockchain that's pretty easy and uh, <laughs> very common uh, application just to show how to interact with the blockchain now let's uh do the same um for instance for block number with the um, node in Postman. So I will copy uh, the endpoint one more time, uh, replace it with my old one, and send the request. And I get the last block, but it's in hex. It's very important to remember because blockchain works with hex. Uh, here we need to convert it from hex to dex, dex, and uh, whoop, and we got block this number let's update here and see we are pretty close between two blocks yeah also let's go and um, uh, check the version of the node to do this you need to go to the documentation of get block here find um, node methods let's see polka dot and here in available methods, you just need to find um, get version, version, yeah, last one. Let's copy the method, add it onto Postman and send. So we got the result. And as you can see, the same is here in version so that's <laughs> how it's going uh, if you need the code you can get it from github i have sent your link you can uh, change it in uh, change something add more um, methods you can delete something or uh, play with it any way you want it. so that's uh, it from myself here and uh, yeah i'm ready to sum up and answer any of your question but before i need to share with you one um i think important moment we have um like promo code get in code 24 also i send it into the chat uh, with this uh, promo code, you can get uh, 1 million free requests on our platform. And also, we have a, a kind of bounty program, especially for this event. Um, so you just need to uh, send a post from your um, social medias or blog or something about uh, how you're gonna use um, get block in your development and uh, we have like a 
competition, let's say like this. And for the uh, third place, you're gonna have um, free unlimited access for one month for our shared nodes with no limits um, and 200 requests per second for everything. Uh, for second place, unlimited access for two months or in project uh, marketing. And for a third place, it's gonna be unlimited access for two months and 20% discount for three months on dedicated nodes and also project marketing. Uh, you just need to make it, uh, make a post and uh, add it in your blog, and then send to send a link to the chat in Discord with uh, Polkadot and uh, Encode and us. Yes, I think Emma, you can share this <laughs> link. I don't, know. I don't have it, honestly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, of course. Everything is shared um, with you guys in our hacker pack, which I can. Yeah um drop back into um the chat in a moment um thank you very much for for a great sure. talk and also for um update um you know reminding everybody of all the bounties that are available um do ask any questions guys um in the questions tab if you do have them before we um wrap up but in the meantime uh, go, sorry go on yeah yeah i see uh the first the very important question about discount code, I mean the promo code, you just need to contact our support team on the website and just uh, write, I participate in and code hackathon and this is the promo code. I just want to get my one million request and personally, I will send to you. I <laughs> just need to have your uh, user ID from the account and yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so yeah, get any questions in on, on the questions tab or in the chat if you have them now. Um, in the meantime, Dimitri, um, do you have any words of advice or inspiration for people who are maybe considering applying for GetBlocks Bounty but aren't sure what they want to do? Oh, that's an interesting question. I think you should be um, free to use your imagination because. Uh, I saw several hackathons and people trying to uh, copy paste other stuff and uh, do not allow themselves to do something interesting and special. It could be not useful, but it should be um, something changing <laughs> just uh, and challenging. It would be very uh, simple, but uh, it should be interesting. It should be um, something what I want to uh, try even for one day, but <laughs> I just want to <laughs> try it. Maybe it's not useful, but it's funny. I, I would say I need some funny stuff because we have a lot of very useful and boring things, but yeah, blockchain development needs some funny. Yes, I think that's great advice. And I think <laughs> definitely hackathons are the time to kind of try something a little bit different and try something new and see where it takes you yeah. because we're really we're looking to to innovate in the space so that would be really great to see something funny definitely you have crazy ideas i'm not crazy just do it <laughs> um we've got joan who i think is also from get block saying that usually people don't think they can win and ignore the bounty yeah i think that's definitely true is don't be discouraged or um, worry too much about what other people might be submitting or what other level they're on. It's definitely always always worth putting something in, at least for the sense of achievement. And you really don't know kind of what other people are submitting. You might well have a better idea than you than you think on your hands. Yeah, just try it. Um, oh, one question came in there, I think. Yeah. Um, Oh, Meharab asking, I think following up, if my hosted parachain node needs an upgrade, then how can you guys help me? Um, upgrades? Uh, you mean, what do you mean under up upgrade your parachain node? We just, uh, if you <laughs> have this upgrade, we're gonna deploy it. <laughs> so <laughs> we are just trying to keep our node updated and that's that's it. So, yeah, um, Maharab, if you have a clarification there, do feel free to let us know. 
Um, Sutan asks, what type of parachains do you support, um, like Astar? Yes, uh, you can find the list of the node we support on our uh, website here in chain list and here all the nodes are supported on shared node uh, on shared so it's 50 plus i really don't remember all of them you can just see right now uh, the main stuff most of them have um, uh, mainnet and testnet like this one and uh, yeah you can explore it here and if you don't find any of stuff you need here you can just write in the um, our uh, help and get a uh, uh, answer from the our support team that this node gonna be deployed in two weeks or we stop supporting this node or you can get this node from another provider which we are uh, partners with so just do not hesitate to write and ask questions we are happy to help you yes and we've also got members of the get block team on our discord channels so feel free to drop them a message on that if anything um occurs to you but i'm not seeing any more questions for the moment so i think we are sort of ready to wrap up really um oh. so i just want to say Thank you again so much, Dimitri, for that brilliant workshop. And thank you for answering everybody's questions. Um, and thank you to everybody in the audience for being um, so active and for asking lots of interesting questions and saying hi. Um, I just wanted to say again, since we've had some latecomers, um, please do book a call with me. I've just dropped my um, appointment calendar link in the description um if you have any questions about how the hack works if you're looking for a team if you're already building whatever it is i'd really like um to catch up with you so i'd love to see some invites coming in there on my gmail um and also i think um dimitri already put this up on the screen but this is his um twitter if you want to follow him on there and also my twitter as well i will link for you guys um, so yeah, as I said, thank you very much for coming. It's been wonderful having you all and thank you, Dimitri, for a great talk. And I will see everybody at 5.30 GMT, so that's in just under an hour's time, um, for our next one, which is with Accurast. So I'll say goodbye now, but thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for having me today. Thank bye -bye. you. Bye-bye. And good luck, everyone.